So Carta is a new indie perfume house based out of San Francisco, California, where I live. They just launched a new fragrance late last year called Moena 1269, this right here. We're going to review this, plus you're going to have a chance at winning one of five samples of Moena 1269, all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos here and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, Carta is a brand new indie niche perfume house based out of here where I live in San Francisco and they just launched a new fragrance called Moena 1269, this right here. It is an extrait de parfum, so it's a concentrated juice, very long lasting and I'll tell you all about it. It retails for $295 for a 50 ml bottle like this. Fragrance can be purchased at Tiger Lily Perfumery or on Carta's website. And for notes for Moena 1269, you've got Wild Peruvian Moena Alcanfor, Soaked Moss, Golden Ginger, Brewed Tea, Tobacco Leaves, and Redolent Woods. So Heather, the uh, owner of the brand, Carta, is in a band called Au Revoir Simone. And this is a band that I, I used to listen to and I like a few of their songs I remember uh, from uh, the late 2000s and early 2010s. When I first found out that she started this brand, Carta, I was quite intrigued because I work in the music business myself and I love music and of course I love perfume. And similar to uh, her, she's also into music and of course she loves perfume and so she decided to start this uh, perfume brand and she launched this uh, fragrance Moment of 1269 from this rare uh, ingredient uh, or note that's never been used in perfumes before. I'm going to go ahead and cut to her explaining to you all about the fragrance. Hello, I'm Heather D'Angelo and I'm the founder of Carta Fragrances. I recently launched with my very first perfume, Moena 1269. And so Carta means maps in Italian and that speaks to my heritage and also because the brand is about discovery and it's about travel. And for Moena 1269, I took a journey to the Peruvian Amazon to source the essential oil, Moena Alcanfor. And this is the first fragrance ever to feature Moana Alcanfor. That essential oil is being distilled by a nonprofit organization called Camino Verde, located in the Peruvian Amazon. The reforestation center is using sales from Moana Alcanfor to fund their reforestation efforts in the Peruvian Amazon. I'm really proud to be able to use this essential oil in my perfume. Um, people say that this smells unlike anything that they've ever smelled before and I say well that's because it's using this essential oil that's never been used before and I think that the top notes are tea that's usually the first thing that people get and warm ginger I also added notes of soaked moss and I added um, a woodsy warm base well, my background is both in tropical ecology and I'm also a musician in the band Ovoa Simone. Ovoa Simone is an all-female uh, keyboard band and we've been together since 2003. And while I was doing music, I was working on a second undergraduate degree from Columbia University in tropical ecology. And I did my field work in Malaysia. I was looking at the impact of oil palm agriculture on soil microbial communities in the soil. And so that was how I ended up getting into the tropics and the aromatics of the tropics. I was working with a lot of soil, working with a lot of botanicals, and very interested in conservation and sustainability and the impact of deforestation in the tropics, which was one of the biggest inspirations for this perfume. I've been wanting to be a perfumer for a really long time, but between going back to school for tropical ecology and being in a band that was touring the world for a decade and living in New York City in basically a shoebox apartment, perfuming was a dream that I had to just kind of bookmark for another time when I had more space and more time. And that happened finally around three years ago when I moved to San Francisco. The band was winding down finally graduated and I started collecting essential oils and fragrance molecules and teaching myself how to be a perfumer. 
and it took a really long time to teach myself perfume. That's why it's now about three years later that I'm actually launching my own brand. Moana 1269 is only available in addition of 300 bottles. And the reason that I did that is because big part of my brand is sustainability and I didn't want to take more Moena Alcan 4 from Camino Verde than a very limited amount because it is a very rare essential oil. One of the things I'm doing with this brand that is a little bit unusual is that if you are a customer of Moena 1269, you and exclusively you will be allowed to reorder this perfume in the future. One of the reasons that I did that is because I really am not that into when other people are wearing my fragrance, however, getting your own custom fragrance can be really cost prohibitive. I mean, it's like thousands of dollars to have a custom fragrance made just for you. So I figured that 300 isn't so bad. I mean, the odds are that you're probably not going to run into somebody else that is wearing Moana 1269. That was my way of kind of making the fragrance a little bit more exclusive so that you can enjoy it and have it be like a signature scent that's just for you. One of the things that I'm most pleased about when it comes to how this fragrance turned out is the color which is really rich and golden and has a little bit of a green tint to it. And the other thing um, that is interesting about it is that I had the caps made locally from a wood shop called Wood Thumb, and they're made from reclaimed walnut wood. So again, that speaks to the sustainability of the brand. As for the shape, I wanted it to be a kind of masculine feminine balance. So the rectangle shape of the bottle to me kind of spoke to a postage stamp which speaks to carta maps and um, this idea of travel and then the domed top is more feminine and um, the fragrance is non-gendered it's unisex so it was important to me that the design of the bottle also kind of reflects this masculine feminine balance as well thanks so much for watching that and also i want to cut to a distillation of the moena al camfor here Thanks so much for watching that as well. This is a very, very unique fragrance to me. It's really big on the tea, and I picked that up. The tea is big. The tobacco is also big. I picked that up as well. And the Moena is there, but uh, it's, it's very nicely blended with the, the ginger because the ginger is quite, um, it's, it's not sharp, it's, it's just bites a little bit. And just like typical of ginger, it does bite. But the, there's a note that's not mentioned here, and it's leather. And it's probably just an accord, something created with all the notes in here. But the fragrance comes off very leathery to me, along with the tea and the tobacco leaves. Now the tea, the tobacco leaves, and the Peruvian Moena are the main notes here. Then we have that ginger. And then after that, we've got a lot of the uh, other notes, like the soaked moss and the, then the woody notes. Because it dries down to something very, very woody but leathery and woody at the same time. So it's a unique fragrance, but Moena 1269 is a beast of a fragrance. It's just really, really strong, really, really concentrated and extremely long lasting. Um, it's, it's a unique fragrance in, in that I've never smelled anything like it, uh, but also when that leatheriness takes over and it does in a big way for me, it does start reminding me of some other fragrances, but still a very, very unique fragrance experience very indie niche style so you've got to be into that style it, it, this is not a kind of fragrance that you would find in places like macy's or the department stores just very very indie offering and the kind of fragrances that i like the fact that it's also very very unique and long lasting the fragrance actually makes it uh, worth the price it's retailing for if that makes sense so you only need a few sprays and you'll have 
the fragrance on you for the whole day. It takes a long time for the fragrance to dry and that's what makes it unique. So if you want to stand out with your fragrance, if you want something very, very unique that nobody has around you or wears around you, then this is a kind of fragrance that I would highly recommend you try. A little different, a little edgy, uh, not conventional. So just make sure you know when you get Moena 1269, you're not going to smell like anybody else. It's going to be a totally new and unique fragrance wearing experience. So you've got to be into that. If you're into the more traditional and um, conventional releases, this might not be for you. But if you like to stand out and smell different, uh, Moena 1269 is just the right fragrance that you need. The other cool thing is here we have another great indie brand that's just launched their fragrance and based out of San Francisco. This is one of the most amazing uh, scenes for indie perfumery. And if you like indie perfumes, you've got to come out here and experience these fragrances. Come out here and experience all the great uh, perfume offerings from the indie brands that are from San Francisco and Northern California because we have some really, really Excellent, excellent indie niche perfumery happening here in this area and it's amazing because we have now another brand that's launched an awesome fragrance called Moena 1269. Are you familiar with this brand, Carta? Are you familiar with Heather's band, Au Revoir Simone? If you are, please put down comments below. Let's get a conversation started. Are you curious to try Moena 1269? Have you tried it yet? Let me know that as well so we can get a conversation started. Also, if you want to participate in the samples giveaway, five samples, USA residents, subscriber of this channel. These will be sent to you by Carta. Heather herself will send them to you. Please put a comment down below and let me know what you like about this fragrance that I spoke about. Let me know what do you think is the most unique thing about this fragrance. Please put those uh, down so we can qualify you for the giveaway and also please put down your state. Please make sure you follow these rules because sometimes people put comments down and say they never win, but they never follow the rules. So please follow the rules so we can qualify you at least. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this review for Cartes Moena 1269. Please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.